。嗨，各位同学好，欢迎来到 f o n i p h o n i x 自然音标。f o n i p h o n i x 自然音标的课程。今天老师为你介绍的是 Vocabulary of the Day。Vocabulary of the Day。同样的，我们今天可以到 cn.com、edition.cn.com 去寻找本日的 Headline News of the Day 每日焦点新闻。并且从中去了解一些单词的拼音技巧以及逻辑。Okay, students, let's go to the cn.com, edition.cn.com, and search for the headline news of the day, and we can probably learn some vocabulary words, spelling, and pronunciation rules. Okay, let's check out the article for today under the section International Warm Women's Day. I walked. Ten thousand miles alone. International Women's Day. I walked ten thousand miles alone. Again, International Women's Day. I walked ten thousand miles alone. Okay, let's check it out. The story. Okay, students, remember if. If you would like to study with me with these articles, simply on the top right hand side you will see a search menu from CNN. And what you have to do, just type the article title here into the search menu, so we can have the same story to study with. Let's check out the first、uh, the article title, which is from Sib. Siberia to Australia, the woman who walked ten thousand miles from Siberia to Australia. The woman who walked ten thousand miles again from Siberia to Australia. The woman who walked ten thousand miles. Okay, let's check out the story. We do enlarge、uh, the screen. Step Master Switzerland Sarah Magee's walk from Siberia to South Australia, ten thousand miles over thousand days. Let's check the, check out the story highlights. Magee's walk from Siberia Siberia to Australia. Walk three years, work over three years. In 2015, she survived for three months in remote Western Australia. CNN: What drives a woman to walk for ten one thousand days? Sarah Magee's journey took her through two continents, six countries, and eight pairs of walking boots. It took her three years, three thousand cups of tea, and she did the journey alone, on foot. It was a dream of mine, she says. It was a response to the calling I have, I have got inside me. I want to understand nature, and I'm made of at a deeper level. Margie, now 43, was born in a small village in northern Switzerland's Jura Mountains. She says she grew up curious and spent most of her childhood running wild in the Swiss countryside, climbing trees and watching birds. When she was eight, she ran off with her dog and spent the night in a cave. You don't become an Adventurer, you are one," she says. As she grew older, her adventures became grander and more fearful. Over the years, she had she has hiked New Zealand, crossed the United States, walked fourteen thousand kilometers across the Australian outback, and touched the Andes. But in 2010, she set out on the ultimate odyssey. Her three-year journey took her from Siberia through the Gobi Desert, China, 
Laos, and Thailand. She then boarded the cargo boat bound for Brisbane and、uh, walked across the entire Australian continent, ending her three-year journey under a tree in the desert, a tree she first found a decade before. Okay, students, I'm going to stop right here. If you like the story, you can keep on reading yourself. And now let's jump up to the note I have prepared for you guys to study. Wait, okay, let's check out.、Uh, first, let's read along. Let's read together with a、uh, headline, article title, with me, International Women's Day. I walked ten thousand miles alone. International Women's Day. I walked ten thousand miles alone. International Women's Day. I walked ten thousand miles alone. Okay, let's jump out to the vocabulary words. The two vocabulary words、uh, for today. And now, let's、uh, check out the story、uh, the vocabulary. Uh, we're going to discuss vocabularies, meaning, usage, pronunciation, and definition, and we're using spelling bees, pronunciation, and spelling improvement and skill. Check out the first vocabulary word: Siberia. 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 Definition of Siberia in English: a vast region of Russia, light extends from the Euro Mountains to the Pacific Ocean, and from the Arctic coast to the northern borders of Kazakhstan, Mongolia, and China, noted for the severity of its winters, it was traditionally used as a place of exile. It is now a major source of minerals and. Hydroelectric power. The second vocabulary words: Australia, Australia, Australia. The definition of Australia in English: an island country and continent in the southern hemisphere in the southwestern Pacific Ocean, a member state of the Commonwealth. Of nations, population twenty one million two hundred sixty two thousand and six hundred. Estimate two thousand nine capital Canberra. Official language English. Okay, let's check out the two vocabularies again, and we are going to redo the、uh, pronunciation and definition part again. And this time, ah.、Uh, Please read along with me. Let's do it together. Siberia. 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 Definition of Siberia in English: a vast region of Russia that extends from the Ural Mountains to the Pacific Ocean and from the Arctic coast to the northern borders of. Kazakhstan, Mongolia, and China, noted for the severity of its winters, it was traditionally used as a place of exile. It is now a major source of minerals and hydroelectric power. Okay, let's check out the second vocabulary word: Australia, Australia, Australia. Definition of Australia in English: an island country and continent in the southern hemisphere, in the southwest Pacific Ocean, a member state of the Commonwealth of Nations. Population: twenty-one million two hundred sixty-two thousand and six hundred. Estimate: two thousand nine capital Canberra. Official language: English. Okay, now students, it's a time we're going to redefine the two, ah,、uh, the two vocabulary words, and we're going to use phonics, spelling, and pronunciation 
implement and skill. Check out the first vocabulary. Siberia. Siberia. Okay, we can Siberia. Oh, sorry. Siberia. Siberia. Then we can see its consonant in the second syllable. 所以第一个音节其实也要补个次重音，我们可以看哈，所以它的 main stress 啊，主重音在第二音节 ，secondary stress 啊，次重音在第一音节，所以我们在这边标两个重音的区块出来，所以这是我们的 strong syllable 啊，我们的强音节哈，我们的强音节就在一二音节。长音节在一二音节，那我们可以看到弱音节呢 ，weak syllable。我们的 weak syllable 呢就在三四音节，好，所以三四音节我们先标，把找到母音的地方，好，找到 vowels 的地方先表写，把弱母音标出来。所以记得吗？我们上一堂课教到，结尾音如果是 i a 的时候，如果是两个音节的话，那我们就是一定是念 e。Ear, rear, rear. So we have this Y, ha. So in this place, this low consonant, this I, it emits the low consonant. So ear usually is I A. The end is ear, ear, ear. Okay, let's look at the weak consonant. This place, its consonant and consonant combination. Let's look at its onset. The first consonant, let's look at its onset. S. The beginning consonant is S. Nucleus, ah, is I, ah, the consonant in I. Ah, that's why we see it is C plus V syllable consonant. And the second consonant, its onset is B. The consonant is B. Ah, same as nucleus. Ah, is E. Ah, so its consonant is E. 所以我们这个地方就要必须把它画成下降的一个符号了哈，啊，因为它这个啊是很特别，它是 Beria， Beria， 啊，所以啊 ，Siberia， 啊，它是念要念短一音哈，啊，看它这个地方哈，是短一音，不是长一音，所以我们再来看一遍哈 ，C， S， I， B， R。好，所以这个地方第一个音节好解决哈。我们先看第一个地方，我们看它的组合是 consonant vowel syllable。啊，所以它用的是 open syllable。这个公式是 open syllable 哈。哦 ，open syllable 哈。open syllable 在第一个音节。啊，这是 phonics 啊 ，phonics phonics 的公式啊 ，open syllable vowel before syllable。Vowel before syllable, 啊 ，open syllable 的公式哈。那第二个呢，它是它是下降的，我们必须这样从这边画下来哈，因为它是破破音朝下了哈。啊，所以我们呃，它是一样是 consonant vowel syllable， 但是它是短母音，而且是破音哈。啊，所以我们的 b 啊。那所以我们来看这个解决哈，所以我们看这个地方，它第一个音节它是念什么 ？si， si， 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 Siberia， Siberia。好，所以这个 e 哈是短音啊，我们在 e 的短母音 short vowel e 哈 ，short vowel， short vowel， short vowel e 的话应该是 short vowels e 应该是念 a。可是这个念是 e 哈，它念是，所以我们就是叫什么 variant short vowel e as at as e， 所以它念是 b b 哈 b， 所以我们再来一遍哈。Second 啊 ，s i syllable 啊 ，b e syllable r i syllable a。Second stress first syllable main stress on second syllable。First syllable, consonant vowel, syllable, vowel before syllable, open syllable, long vowel I, psi, psi. Second syllable, consonant vowel, syllable. Ah, 
very e, very e as e, as e. We've got i, re. We've got i, a, r i a, rear, 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 Siberia, Siberia. Again, S I syllable B E syllable R I syllable A. Secondary stress, first syllable, main stress, sec second syllable. First syllable, consonant vowel, syllable. Vowel before syllable. Therefore, long vowel I, pronounced as I. Sign. Second syllable, consonant vowel, syllable. Variant E, variant short vowel E, as E, as E, B, B, B. With the I, as E, re, re, re. With the A, with the A, as a, 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 rear, rear, Siberia, Siberia. Siberia. Okay, let's check out the second vocabulary words. Australia. Australia. Oh, we can Australia. Oh, its pronunciation. Ah, that the same accent is in the second syllable. Ah, second syllable. So, ah, it has two pronunciations. The first pronunciation is Australia. Australia 就把 A 跟 U 都念落母音，那一般人喜欢念是 Australia 啊，所以这个就很特别了哈。我们看它的强音节，所以我们这边最好前面最好也不要一个次重音。如果你前面念的是短一音啊，所以我们一样画这边画两个啊，我们一样画一样画两个重音符号哈啊，一样念两个重音符号是 strong syllable first and second syllable 那。在这个地方哈，我们要写个落母音，在这个第三个 weak 地方。好，那 i 这个地方哈，我们要我们要怎样画双线？啊，因为它念 y y 啊 y 哦，所以它不念 y 啊，它 y 哦，所以这是一个啊，我们这边是一个特殊的哈 ，i 去变成一个子音 y。好，那。W A 还是念二，好，那所以在这个地方，我们看如果双重音状况之下，第一个音节 nucleus A U， 哦 ，coda S， 好，那大家知道 nucleus and coda they rhymes， 哦，所以它这个是 A U S。Rhymes a u s. Ah,、啊、第二个音节一样哈，我们看它的 nucle 啊，它的 onset 首音，啊是 t r 首音，啊，那 nucleus 是 a 合音在 a， 那它是有 coda 的，可是它的 coda 是 l， 啊有尾音，可是这个字又是一个很，我们现在来解释一下。我们看 a u s t r a， 应该是在这个地方念 l i a， 啊，应该是这个位置。可是我们看到啊，字典上标到的位置，啊，确实是 t r a l 在一起，啊，那所以我们现在看到这个问题点就来了哈，因为 t r a l 的时候它是念短母音 ，t r a 才是念长母音，所以我们看差别了哈。我们看第一个音节次重音低音节，所以第一个音节是 v v c， 啊、哦，它的组合是 vowel vowel consonant。那一般来说 vowel vowel 的 combination 应该是念长母音，但是它是 u 不发音 ，a 念短母音。我们可以看到它它它是这样过来的哈，啊、哦，很特别的闪电符号，所以 a 要念 r。R short vowel A, variant A as R, R, R. 那第二个音节它是它是 consonant, 
r vowel consonant， 那本来应该是 v 加 c 是 short vowels， 对不对？可是，所以这就是一个重点了哈。如果我们把这个 l 移到后面来时，它就套用的公式就是 consonant r vowel syllable， 那就是 vowel and syllable open syllable， 那么 vowel a tray tray tray。哦，那 tray 完之后呢，我们这边双线 ，Australia， Australia， Australia， 好，所以这个地方就可以解决掉我们刚才发音上的问题哈。啊，当然啊，这是一个蛮特别的一个东西。我们看它是确实是那长母音 a 的这个位置啊 ，Australia， Australia， 好，所以这应该是 long vowel a 对不对？好， long vowel a， 所以啊，记得哈。记得哈 ，Australia 的这个单字哈，啊、呃，念起来特别特别特别奇怪哈。那当然，弱母音的形式又很好解决了哈。Australia， Australia， 啊，我们我们当然这样子来看的话，它就是在弱母音在 a 的地方标弱母音，好，这边打叉，啊，好，那当然重音在第二音节，啊，那是这边 os 就就可以很简单念出 os 了，对不对？啊 ，tray， 好，一样哈，这个要位移哈，位移过来，好，我们才可以套用 open syllable。Australia， Australia， Australia， 好，所以有的时候啊，也要研究一下哈，这个单字会念起来会不会有点奇怪哈 ？OK， 那我们再把这两个单字再做一个复习哈。Siberia。Siberia, Siberia, Australia, Australia, Australia. 好了，以上就是今天的 vocabulary of the day 每日单词。同样的。同学们，如果你觉得 David 老师用这种啊自然音标的方式啊自然发音的公式带你进入音标的世界 ，phonetic 啊，用 phonetic 的公式带你进入 phonetic 音标的世界，并且用 phonetic phonetic 啊用线性符号来表达母音发音的可能性，如短母音、长母音、轻母音、双母音，以及用线性符号来表达子音符号啊的特殊发音形式。啊，对你拼音技巧逻辑有所帮助的话，也欢迎大家用 Google Plus， 啊 ，Google Plus， Google 加，啊 ，David 老师做好友。Friends， if you find my pronunciation videos are useful， simply just use Google Plus and find my ID David T T I N G A D A at Gmail， 啊 ，Well， find my ID David T T I N G A D A， and join me with the， 啊、uh, ，with the Google Plus fan circle。And I'm also also use line com, uh email. My email account is davidtdng88 at gmail dot com. And、uh, if you'd like to send me a mail message, ah、uh, just do it. And my I'm also use line kind of communicator. My line ID is davidting one six eight eight. Feel free to send me a hi. And at last, thanks for your video watching. And just ah、uh, if you like the videos, simply just. 啊、uh, ，subscribe my YouTube channel 啊、uh, ，同同学们，如果喜欢袋子的话，教学影集的话，也不要忘了啊， uh, 订阅老师的 YouTube 频道。以上就今天的 vocabulary of the day， 每日单词啊， uh, 谢谢各位的观赏。